Hello all, uh, this is Pierce Callaway again, just guys bringing you more, uh, more scripture that's really been pressed on my heart this morning. Um, and again, just, just something that I want to share with you, something that, again, uh, I, I know this sounds weird to say, but even if you aren't a Christian, even if you could care less, or say you care less, about Jesus Christ, the one that I believe created you and I, even if you don't believe in Jesus, my question to you is, what do you do with all, with all the burdens in your life? What do you do with all the guilt? What do you do with all your shame? What do you do with all your hurt? You know, it's just uh, so many people live their life by feelings. If you don't have Jesus Christ, if you don't have an actual God or someone else that you believe can remedy all of your cures, all of your problems, all of the things you need in life, if you don't have that other person, then it means you're using another human being for that. So remember, even a doctor, even a lawyer, even a therapist, those people can't really change your life for the better. They can't really do anything but give you advice. That's, that's really what I feel, Jesus Christ speaking, at least to me. It's just temporary relief. Remember, a doctor can prescribe you a pill. A therapist can give you great advice that may or may not work for you. But it might have worked for them. It's just, guys, a, a human, just like me, I'll confess to you right now, the reason why I'm reading from the Bible, the reason why I mention the name Jesus Christ so much, is because all I want you to do is talk and pray with Him, to Him. It, like every day, continually. All I want you to do is get more of Him. And, and he wants us to be swamped, swamped, saturated with his word and his voice. He wants you continually talking to him. All my videos that I, that I hope you're subscribing to, guys, are not for me. I don't get paid for this. This isn't something I'm doing for money. I'm, I'm making these videos because I believe one day that... I'm going to be held accountable for everything that I've done on this earth to try to reach other people for Jesus himself. So what I want to read to you right now is, and again, I want to, I want to make sure you know this. This isn't a call to make you believe in something you don't want to believe in. But I'm asking you, even if you believe in nothing, Go to Jesus Christ anyway. It's better than doing nothing. It's better than giving it, it's better than drinking, you know, like bottles and bottles of alcohol. It's better than going out and having meaningless, meaningless sex. It's going, you know what, rather than doing anything the world gives you to drown your sorrows in, give them to Jesus Christ. Even if you don't believe it, hope I because I, I hope and pray the more and more you give problems to him, that you'll start you, that you'll start believing, that you'll start seeing the power and the release that it gives you. And again, that's that's my hope. That's all I can hope for you. Is that who cares right now if you believe? Fake it. Go through the motions. And I'm truly hoping that your belief does, does reside one day in Jesus Christ, that you find your identity and worth in Him, because nobody else can help you out. So the scripture says right here in Matthew 11, 28 through 30, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, 
and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Truly, that's everything we need daily. Folks, again, whomever, whatever human you're going to every day, with all of your problems, with all of your fears, with all of your hopes, okay, with all, a, with all of your venting, with all of your screaming, with whatever, whatever human you're unloading on every single day, trust me, they can't handle it. You can't handle other people's problems. You really can't do too much about them. You can help. But, but the problems are just going to keep coming back. Unless you give them to someone who can help you actually get a lasting result. We can't change each other's lives. Jesus Christ can and only Jesus Christ can. So I ask you again, please, try him out. Try Jesus Christ for 30 days. If you really, truly think you're not better for doing it, then you can always take your old life back. But what shot have you got? If you currently believe in nothing, that there is no God, that you were created by, what, a mistake, or just randomly, then, then you have nothing to lose anyway. So again, please, all of your guilt, guilt, all of your burden, everything, your fears, your struggles, everything you call up family to help you resolve, use Jesus Christ. That's all I'm asking. And again, don't ever do anything because I tell you to. All I'm doing is reading the Bible, translating it, interpreting it, and giving it to you. And hopefully you'll listen and start living it out like I am, like I'm trying to. Guys, I'm not a perfect human, but I do know who to go to for answers. And that's all I want to give you, truly. Truly, that's what the Bible and that's what Jesus Christ is for. It's these two things, his voice and his word, that, that will guide your everyday life. So again, empty everything every single day before you start your day. Empty all of it. Give it to Jesus Christ because no other human can truly help you or take care, or get rid of all of those burdens we have. Thank you, and again, guys, like, subscribe, hate on it, I don't care, but I love your comments on the videos, I love that people are watching them, and I just, I'm here, I'm here to help you, truly, because it helps my faith in Jesus grow stronger. So guys, thank you again, um, always leave your prayer requests, because I love to pray for you.